What is up ladies and gentlemen? YYC Model Airports and Meal Moore here coming out with my October airport update for Reading International Airport. There are only there's only one new model in this airport update uh, that you can see in the background if you haven't already seen my Stepien International Airport update. It is the Cargolux 747-8F rolling out, so let's start this update. As I just mentioned, Cargolux 747-8F uh, rolling out to, or taking off towards Luxembourg in the 45th anniversary livery. Uh, just came off the runway just before the, um, the Cargolux took off. It was Qatar A350-900, which came in from Doha. Delta 747-400 waiting for a gate. Uh, or just taxied in from uh, Atlanta. Alpha One, we have, who wants to focus, a British Airways SAP 340. This aircraft is going to head out to, we'll send this bird out to London City. Uh, British Airways, Airbus A321. Aircraft getting final cargo loaded on board, or er, just arrived from Paris Charles de Gaulle, getting some cargo offloaded and getting cleaned out. Then beside that we have a Monarch A320 getting catered and fueled so that it can head out to Gibraltar later this evening. Bravo 2, we have the British Airways 787-8. This aircraft is getting catered and we'll hold out for a couple more hours before heading out to Toronto Pearson. British Airways 787-9 getting some cargo loaded on board before getting pushed out to Kuala Lumpur. Waiting to get taxied in. Waiting to taxi in we have a Virgin Atlantic 747, 787-9 this aircraft arrived from Orlando Sanford uh, it's trying to get a gate as the, the Emirates pushback was delayed, so it's waiting for the Emirates 777 to push out so that the Delta and the uh, Virgin Atlantic can get a gate to uh, park in and offload their passengers. Sorry guys, just gotta fix a little gate here. Sorry for the background noise as well. So in Bravo 4, we have a Lufthansa A340-300. This aircraft just arrived uh, or arrived a few hours ago from Frankfurt and we'll head out to Munich. This is like the biggest flight Lufthansa operates from Reading International. Uh, planning to get a Lufthansa 321 as well. So just like the KLM, we'll have the A330 operating some days and then the, the A330 operates in the afternoon. And the 737-800 operates in the evening. Then, on a delayed pushback, this mail or the um, cargo loader still needs to back out the Emirates 777-300 behind schedule to head out to Dubai. Uh, all the gates at this gate are empty except for the KLM 737-800. This aircraft is getting pushed out by the KLM tug and we'll head out to Amsterdam. Going to line up on the runway, we have a Air New Zealand 787-9 in the All Blacks livery. I'm going to head out to Los Angeles and then continue on to Auckland, New Zealand. In the hangar, we have a British Airways A380. This aircraft just getting some maintenance done. And then we'll head out to Singapore Changi. Hello, 737-900. Had some uh, engine troubles flying in. Uh, this aircraft's now been fixed up. And we'll head out to... Um, we'll push out, uh, out the hangar and head out to uh, Tel Aviv, Ben Gurion. And finally, to wrap up. The airport update. We have the Antonov uh, AN124 aircraft just on a fuel stop after flying here all the way from Anchorage 
and will fly down to Johannesburg later this evening. So yeah, guys, it's pretty much the airport update. Um, again, if you haven't heard already, I will be transforming this airport and also making a T-terminal for it as they're both on the same board. So one side will be for uh, British aircraft only, so British Airways and Monarch. And then I'll have uh, one gate for the SAP 340, Flybe Q400 in the purple livery, which I found, uh, British Airways E190. And then on the other side, we'll have LL, all those aircraft. And this will also extend to have two more gates. So yeah, ooh, sorry. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much the airport update. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.